What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So one thing I like to focus on is how you can implement a certain crypto project within the real world. Real world assets are kind of taking over, or at least the thought of them are taking over because anybody that you ask what a cryptocurrency project does, what a certain metaverse or, or whatever it does, what does it do in real life? What can you do with it? What's the purpose of it? What's the real world asset of it, right? So we know that Web3 and its focus is mainly on those real world assets and infrastructure. So things like total value locked and how much is locked up from a company or with a with a certain project, you can see the value, the sustainability, the the trust that's within that project as well. And understanding that the sector could be worth multiple trillions of dollars, single digit trillions of dollars, tens of trillions of dollars. Uh, it could be worth a lot more. Understanding that that market, the real world asset sector is worth more than you probably think, right? But that's looking at the entire thing, right? If we wanted to obviously uh, just snip a piece of it or grab a piece of it, you know, you would have certain places that control certain parts of that sector. So anyways, I want to bring to you a, a project today. That project is FIRE. Now, FIRE is a blockchain where blockchain meets sustainability, right? FIRE is a layer one EVM compatible uh, smart contract platform that focuses on developing a uh, four benefit blockchains ecosystem based on the sustainable development goals or SDGs defined by the United Nations. Now, this is interesting because while Bitcoin brings brings a uh, proof of work and Ethereum may bring proof of stake, you have VeChain that may bring proof of authority and you know things of that nature, right? All different types of consensus that are out there. And you have a unique consensus here for FIRE, which is sustainable proof of stake. Now, if I had to break that down and go through a, a uh, for kind of a full definition, FIRE really does that for you. And I'll do it through two sectors or two through two sections. So SPOS, um, sustainable proof of stake, the world's first EGS compliance based reward distribution system emerges as the groundbreaking governance based system that powers the fire chain ecosystem. Um, sustainable proof of stake is transforming blockchain governance by aligning it with the United Nations sustainable development goals. Uh, through NPOS based election process, reward calculation based on sustainability and reliable score, um, and the use of slashing to enforce good behavior. So you're bringing another consensus to the table that could be something that uh, kind of takes over a little bit more. You see the the build, you see that this could be early stages of what you would see with something like a Bitcoin or something like maybe an Ethereum as they have their migration or Cardano or Tezos, things of that nature, where you have this early stage consensus, early stage project that could essentially grow to the likes of what Bitcoin is or a lot further. And not necessarily saying the price, but understanding the market cap, understanding what the sector could be overall could be massive um, as a whole. Now, if we go into uh, their website a little bit, just to maybe understand uh, a little bit more about what they're doing. So their mission uh, is to make it easy for businesses, governments, entrepreneur, entre entrepreneurs, and uh, institutions to incentivize sustainability by aligning economic growth with global sustainable, uh, sustain, uh, I can't speak, sustainability. Uh, we want to make it easy to be good. FIRE is working with governments, with Fortune 500 companies, with social entrepreneurs, with uh, universities. And uh, FIRE provides a novel way for governments to engage with uh, citizens and scale their uh, capacities for effective administration with transparency, effectiveness, and speed. Fortune 500 companies uh, have a, a disproportionate impact on the future of the world's sustainability. Uh, by encoding SD, SGDs uh, and ESGs in our blockchain, FIRE makes it easy for businesses to do good. Social entrepreneurs. Uh, FIRE is, is fast, secure, and cheap. 
Um, this makes us an ideal ecosystem for entrepreneurs who want to combine impact um, with business as they they scale their mission or universities. Fire helps universities leverage power, sustainability, and make their administration and operation digital digitalized, uh, real time and transparent. So honestly, they they look like they're doing different things and working with different sectors here. When you look at governments, um, you know, Fortune 500 companies, universities, and really creating that education uh, portion to it. Now, one thing that Fire wants to do is work with governments for a stable infrastructure development, and I feel like this is something that they could easily do. There are many different countries and governments that are investing into blockchain projects and trying to find the right things that fit for their country. There's obviously a growing need for operational infrastructure here. So working with governments is a big deal. Now, the current market conditions with Bitcoin sitting around thirty-seven dollars to $38,000, we're seeing the growth in the crypto market and a lot of popularity that's coming back into the space. So seeing any new type of consensus, new type of mechanism that's going to be launched alongside of a lot of these projects that have their own consensus, their own proof of stake, proof of work or proof of authority or proof of space. You're launching alongside these things and now you have that popularity kind of filling in the gaps. I feel like people may not understand the strength of these markets and exactly how far they can go and how much money you could potentially make from this as well as what you can be a part of, right? Something that could be a Bitcoin-like project that turns into what Bitcoin is today from what Bitcoin was. Now, Firechain already has a massive following. You could see that they have 466,000 followers on Twitter. It's gonna launch in the banner you could see on December 5th. What I'm hearing, there's a lot of people that are hype around this project. It truly is a big project to have. Now, like we said before, sustainable proof of stake is transforming uh, blockchain governance by aligning with the United Nation uh, sustainable development goals. And that's exactly what they're doing. Their goal is to align with the United Nations 2030 agenda for sustainable development. Now, if I had to give my overall thoughts on exactly what I'm seeing within the project, the fact that you have the popularity. The fact that you have the build within you know, Twitter, the fact that you have the talks, the conversations that are happening, and the new consensus that can lead to governments and Fortune 500 companies and entrepreneurs and, and universities and all these different connections, it honestly makes you feel like you may be a part of something that could be way bigger than what we've seen in the past. Right, that you can have this thing that can control you know, maybe a $16 trillion sector and for an investor be worth way more than you think. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to use the links down below. Actually, they're a partner of the channel, so definitely use those links down below. Uh, I just love the fact that we're seeing you know, major popularity within some of these uh, cryptocurrency projects and you know, looking like we may be seeing massive use case along the way as these things do get developed, launched, changed, and upgraded along the way. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Definitely go ahead and use those links down below to check out their socials, check out their website. But I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. So we're officially at launch day. It is December 5th and we're seeing fire that's on coin market cap. So I wanted to take you through a little bit before we end uh, this video and just show you, uh, I guess, where to buy it and what the overall price looks like on today's date. Remember, we'll provide all of the links to everything down below. So make sure you guys uh, check those out. But currently fire is sitting at 41 cents, 41 and a half cents, uh, up 30% on the day. Um, if we look at the market cap, we're at a $20 million market cap with $13.9 million worth of volume. Now, uh, the places that you can purchase it, if you guys are interested, is Bybit. That's really the only place right now. And I'm sure there will be more as time comes on. Um, but right now, it's just on that platform, just on that market. Literally, this is recently added just today. So if you guys are interested, again, uh, if you have Bybit, Bybit then you'll be able to uh, make that move over there. But if you don't, then um, I'm sure they'll have other markets um, in the coming days, maybe coming months. But that's where you're standing right now is uh, Fire is available on that platform currently at 41 and a half cents.